Let's simplify the fraction 20 20 fifths. And here's how we'll do it. We're looking for another fraction that's equivalent, has the same value as 20 over 25, just that it's in lowest terms. To do that, we need to find a common factor, something that goes into 20 and 25. So here are the factors for 20 and 25. So I'm looking for a factor that goes into both 20 and 25, and I want to choose the greatest common factor. And it looks like the greatest common factor, that's going to be 5. So we can divide 20 by 5 and then 25 by 5. We'll have simplified the fraction 20 20 fifths. Let's move these over here. So 20 divided by 5, that gives us 4. And then 25 divided by 5, that gives us 5. And we've simplified 20 over 25 down to 4 over 5. We can't simplify this any further. If you divide 4 by 5 and 20 by 25, you'll get the same answer. They're equivalent fractions. It's just that we've simplified 20 over 25 down to 4 fifths. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.